No, no, no. That's wrong. Dixie Diamonds, 78. Dixie Cooktown, 4.35 p.m. Alone in the home for less time than a cat can wink its eye, Lizzie and Edward were startled when their phone rang. <gasps> Lizzie exclaimed, slapping the left side of her chest with her right hand while adding, Goodness, what timing! Then laughing as Edward also laughed at his fright from the phone's ring. I got it, Ed said, shaking his head and picking up the receiver on the second ring. Bored in residence, he intoned without emotion. Eddie, it's Karen. I just received a phone call from Rosier's assistant, Joey Habanier. The plan is for her and Rosier to go for a stroll, make a quick call to us, and then have Baloney establish a telepathic link with her. I need to phone her back and say we're clear to go, and then we can proceed. Everything good there? Oh, Ed exclaimed, wiggling his fingers for Lizzie to come and join him on the phone. Not quite, but soon. Baloney is having a quick reconnoiter inside Brency's mind to make sure he's headed towards Three Island National Park rather than Dixie. He shouldn't be but a moment, but he may need a bit of time to recover from his exposure to Brency's evil. Reconnoiter. Verb. Make a military observation of a region. I see, Karen replied, biting the left side of her lower lip. Do you think I should tell Joe five minutes or wait until Baloney checks in? Eddie, eyebrows raised, turned to Lizzie an invitation for her to speak. Hi, Karen, Liz here. We're a bit concerned that Baloney may need a bit of time to collect herself. Z was quite upset when Z subjected herself to direct contact with Brency's mind this morning, so it's probably best if we give Za a moment to compose herself. Karen sighed in response, but said, I see. Yes, yes, poor thing. All right, I'll let her know, and she can let Rosier know. Uh, question, didn't Baloney say that we just need to call out to Za and Z to hear us? I tried that before calling, but I failed to connect. Am I wrong? Am I missing something? No, Ed said, neither. Once we've been in touch with Big B, we just need to reach out. But I don't know how that works if you have a third party involved who B hasn't met yet. Plus, he may be totally consumed with his mental visit to that mentally ill Brency. We'll either call you or have Big B connect with us in just a moment. Plan? Yes, Karen replied. That's fine. All right. Let me go and I'll call Joe and let her know the plan. Thank you. Oh, Liz said. Quick question. Do you have any time to speak with Paul about all this? Uh, Karen laughed aloud. Paul is right here, totally confused, but totally committed. You'll reach out ASAP, yes? We will, Ed said, adding, tell Paul it's possible we'll all be committed before this is over, won't you? He asked with a laugh. He heard you, dear, Karen replied, laughing lightly. He's right here. Bye for now, she added before hanging up.